Hey, welcome back to the channel. Listen, breaking news, Coach Prime has proof of the saboteur, and it turned out to be the offensive coordinator, Sean Lewis, and he just took away his play caller responsibilities. As a play caller, without that, you're fired. That's the message. Now, let's get into why and how. First, this wasn't a snap decision. This was already talked about with Prime and Rick George, the administrative director, his boss. That's why I just showed you the video that Rick George was on the CBS radio broadcast with a friendly reporter that he knew and that he could get the message out there. And the message was simple. Prime and I talk every day. We are bonded by faith and we are in this together. Thick as thieves. We see everything out of eye. We're on par with where we want to be. We are going in the direction we want to go. Don't think that there's any division between Prime and me. So that cleared the air after the meetings. Now Prime did what he had to do. He came forward and he took away the play call responsibility, which was firing your offensive coordinator. And he did that only eight games into the first season. And why? Should go back and listen. Shador said in his previous post-game comments twice he needed more communication. The offensive coordinator pretty much said, man, forget you. And why? Because several things happened here. Shador blew up in week one. Got all the hype and the records. Got the Heisman eye on him. No credit went to the offensive coordinator. Mm. Snubbed his nose. And he didn't like that. I came here. I put this together. I'm doing this. I'm not appreciated. It rubbed him. Yes, it did. Now, what happens? They struggle a little bit for a couple weeks. So Coach Prime picks up the phone and does what he do. He reached out through his Rolodex of thousands of people that he know, and he called Pat Shermer. An NFL man that he knows for years, decades. They bonded, again, through faith. Faith is a main thing here now. you got to pay attention to this. Pat Shermer agrees to come on aboard as a consultant. Consultants lay in the background. They watch. They listen. They look at film. They go to coaches, and they give coaches some suggestions or they tell coaches some of the things that, that they notice, and they can do this because they have years and years of experience at high level of productivity making things happen. And so they offer their knowledge and expertise to the coaches, and then they get out the way. But go back and watch the films four to five weeks ago in the practice bubbles and out on the practice field. Sean Lewis had stopped talking to Shador. And Pat Shermer was the one in the practices behind the quarterback letting him know where to go with the ball. Great throw. Hold your arm up. Put your ball higher. Watch your feet. Balance yourself before you release the ball. All these types of critiques and adjustments. He was the one helping Shador. Then go to the game footage. I watch all these little things. Go to the game footage. I saw this coming. I told you the saboteur was in the house. That was the clue to let you know Prime sees it too because Prime is closer. Prime sees everything. Then if I can see it from a distance, Prime was right there. Check this out. Go back and watch. Shador stopped sitting on the bench. See, when the offense comes off the field, they run to the bench. They sit in their assigned spots where the offense is. Their helmets all on the on the poles, all that stuff. And then the coaches and coordinators and stuff come over and they talk to them. Hey, the offensive line, we need you to, you know, uh, you know, run block, you know, more. We're going the next series, we're gonna run, we're gonna run, 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 and we want you to run block. So we want you to get your strength and get your AK self together because they're gonna go to a B package and they just gonna run heavy. So they wanna prepare them for that. 
the receivers. Hey, listen, we're going to a more spread open set in the next, you know, series because what we did this time didn't work. So he letting all the receivers know, hey, you, 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 hey, be on rotation. We're going to run you in and out because we're going to attack, attack with passes down the field. Same thing with the quarterback. They sit and they discuss. They look at the iPads. They look at the laptops. And they see all the little things that's going on. And then they discuss it, where the DB was, where the safety was, where the blitz came from, where the pressure is, where the outlet, all that kind of stuff. Shador stopped sitting there. You look at the game film, Shador walks down the sideline, 50 feet or so away from the offense. I noticed this two games ago. And Pat Shermer comes over on the sideline because he doesn't want to diss Sean Lewis to his face. And that's Pat Shermer coaching him because he's not getting any from Sean Lewis. Prime seen it. Other people seen it. They got together, him, Rick George. They got together with Pat Shermer. Pat Shermer agreed to step in. He says, I can fix this. We can win and I can get you to a bowl game because we got the talent, we showed it. I will accept that role and I will jump in there and do it for you. Once that was agreed in the meeting, boom, Rick George went on the radio, said me and Prime are like thick of thieves. We won 1,000, no doubt about it. Prime comes to the media today, yanks his play duty responsibilities, which is firing a man. Only eight games into the first season, they're telling you that there was sabotage there. And then they all know it. And Pat Shermer said, yeah, it is. And I see the nonsense, and I see all the talent, and I see that you can win. And so I will take over the responsibilities of doing this and become the offensive coordinator. So out with Sean Lewis. We got the saboteur. Now, we going to go out and we're going to give Oregon a shock because Dylan Edwards coming back onto the field. The ball is going to go back to Jimmy, back to Xavier. Things that we just haven't seen in weeks. Oh, yeah. Watch the run. Watch the RPOs. Watch the jet sweeps. Watch the reverses. Watch the creativity come back to this offense now with a new offensive coordinator because the offensive coordinator can see the talent. Yes, Lord. Whatever you do, go put your money on Colorado. They're going to shock Oregon State. They're going to come at them with something completely different that Oregon State had been preparing for, the same run up the middle, the same Shador standing in the shotgun five to seven yards back and they just blitzing. That's gone. And Oregon State is scrambling right now. Oh, my God. What are we going to do about the offense? We don't know where they're going to come at us now. Now, when the offense it can come at you in ways that the defense is not ready, watch how explosive they are this week. They're going to be explosive. This is a 35-point game. I don't know what the actual scores will be, but this is a game easy where Colorado gets back into throwing and, and scoring 35 points. Easy. They are going to give Oregon State the fits now. Because it's not going to be predictable. Got that no good sucker. Yes, sir. Talk to you later.